this is the equipment we use for putting up a hammock. So we have the hammock, then we have a tarp. This is actually a bundle of four guy lines. We have the orange ridge line and we'll see how that all goes together now. Attaching to the hammock to the tree is really simple. It comes with these very long um, green lines and you just wrap it round and round the tree a few times and then just the any simple knot to just stop it falling off. Um, just the, the pressure against the tree is what holds all the weight. That knot's not holding any weight and, uh, uh, and that'll do its job. And similar at the other end, whatever you're tying it to, it's just wrap the uh, cord just round and round and then just something to stop it falling off. Then when we come to the uh, actual hammock, you'll see it actually splits into two. It has two parts to it. And what we do is we put, um, we slide a roll mat uh, inside here. That uh, keeps us warm and comfortable overnight. And the technique when sleeping it tends to be, or what I like to do, is head and feet at opposite corners and that kind of straightens it out. So this is the end point we're getting to with the tarp. We're hanging it over the hammock to uh, keep us shielded. So we have our orange riz line along the middle. And we've got the green things on the side. So I run a garden, so I used a chair rather than soil. Let's see how we did that. So we're going to put up our ridge line. So on, when we undo our orange uh, line, we've got uh, a loop and a nice straight end. And we're just going to uh, put the loop around this and put the straight end through it and then pull it tight. There we go. Just then we, now we can adjust this higher or lower to get the, the height we want. So I've used a hoe as my tall stick to take uh, the other line, other end of my ridge line. And the knot I used, it's a very clever knot, it's uh, like a guy line in that you can loosen it and tighten it. And it's very good for making very tight knots. Um, and oh, these two hands make it super tight, make it super tight again. I won't show a video, I won't show you how to do that. I'll link to a video because the video I watched was a, a great explanation. I can't do better than that. Right. You don't need to know it now because I think everyone's got their own uh, supports for the hammocks. But I uh, made that something at the end and the hard bit was making this uh, anchor at the end which is very cool. It's a log and uh, what? Sometimes called log and uh, picket ground anchor or a log and stake. It's very cool and actually really easy to do. Um, we're going to do it with the, uh, with the scouts when we get a chance because we get you this kind of frame we use for making like rope bridge and things over stuff and uh, climbing frames. So we're going to do that. And all I did to tie this thing together, which the scouts probably already know, We've done it enough times. That's a square lashing. So I just put two bits of wood together, did a square lashing, and then used the uh, that very clever ground anchor because one peg did not hold it down. But uh, but stretching the weight across six pegs and it did work. Eee.